Hello and welcome to Teachings and Education, Teacher Collaboration and Co-Teaching. We are going to start with co-teaching, one of the many forms of teacher collaboration. The models are credited to Marilyn Friend. Here we'll review five of her models. The first one up is One Teach, One Support. In this model, one teacher is in charge of the classroom instruction and the other teacher roams the room supporting students. So here's what it looks like. You'll usually see a general education teacher running the lesson and the special education teacher walking around helping the students in any way possible. The positives include individual help for students, easy to observe behavior, the negatives are unequal power distribution, and students immediately expect help. On to the next model, parallel teaching. Students are divided into two groups, and both teachers cover the same content, thus increasing supervision. Visually, the classroom looks like this. One teacher is in charge of one half of the room, and the other teacher is in charge of the other half. The pros are, you can work in small groups, and each teacher has less in ownership. The cons are, both teachers must know the content, and it can be hard to control the noise. The next model up is stations teaching. Here, this model utilizes learning centers, different lessons, where the teacher may individually lead different centers. In this example, I'll illustrate two stations, one with a chemical structure model and the other where a lab demo is taking place. However, you can have three or four or five stations. A big positive is increased student engagement and teachers can cover more material in a shorter time. Negatives are that it requires lots of pre-planning and problems with timing often occur. Moving on to alternative teaching. In this model, the majority of students work with one teacher and a small group works with the other teacher. Here is what it looks like. You'll see most students with one teacher and a small group learning a different lesson with the other teacher. Some of the pros include differentiated instruction and teachers can move students inside and outside of the classroom. The cons are one group may be viewed as smarter than the other group. And now we move on to the last model, the most effective model, team teaching. In team teaching, two teachers are working together during instruction with an equal understanding of content and respect for, from students. And here you can see what it looks like. Both teachers are in front of the room, simultaneously teaching the lesson to the students, taking and answering questions. The positives of this model are the students see both teachers as equals. Both teachers can manage behavior. The negatives are that the teachers may step on each other's toes and the students can often play teachers against each other. These models should be incorporated into what's called an inclusion classroom. The inclusion classroom houses both a special education and general education teacher, where both teachers work together to meet the needs of students with disability. Consultation, for example, is another way that teachers collaborate. Consultation happens all the time in schools without educators really acknowledging it. Anytime one educator solicits information from another, it's a form of consultation. It's usually a voluntary process where one teacher asks for the advice and expertise of another educator. Co-planning, another prevalent example of teacher collaboration. Co-planning occurs when educators work together to develop lesson plans and long-term unit plans. Some schools actually designate time for teachers to co-plan together, and co-planning can really save some time and energy for everyone. And the last collaboration method is teaming. 
Like my collaborative teacher, Ms. Rodi says, teamwork makes the dream work. We're smarter together than we are apart. Teaming is basically teachers working together towards achieving goals. Some examples are PLCs, school data teams, anti-bullying coordinated teams. Right now, I want to say thank you for your time. Please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video as well. See you soon.